What's up guys, welcome to this video and in today's video I want to tell you how I avoid big mistakes. It's a very very simple strategy, I've been applying it for years and it has saved me quite a bit of, of, of mistakes and troubles and, and problems in different areas of my life that I could have uh, gotten. Now, I'm not saying that you won't face mistakes uh, throughout your journey, whatever your journey is, you're gonna face mistakes, you gotta be used to dealing with mistakes and obstacles and problems and actually you gotta fall in love with it but if you really want to kind of like um, save uh, not facing big mistakes like big big mistakes for your life then I suggest you do this it's very simple I what I do is I like to fast forward mentally to the future right so if right now I'm 23 years old and let's say that um, this is just an example let's say that in my journey I've managed to make a hundred thousand dollars and uh, let's say that I I see this really cool car and it costs eighty thousand dollars so I'm like all right I have the money um, and I'm gonna feel really happy with this car but I don't know if I should buy it or not right I don't know if this is a good decision or not so basically what I like to do is I like to fast forward right in the future like if I'm 40 years old and I was thinking back and I'm asking myself like was that a good decision like buying the car for 80k if I had 100k and that usually tells me the answer, all right? So if right now, let's say I had 100K and I'm looking at a car that's 80K, it's 80% of the total money that I have, that I have worked for years to get, and I'm still not a millionaire, for instance, and I don't, it doesn't make sense for me to buy that car, I simply don't buy it. So um, the reason this works extremely well is because it allows you to fast forward to experience future emotions in the present and that way you, you avoid present mistakes that could have cost you a lot in the future. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense. Here's another example. Let's say that right now, this is a different example. Let's say that right now you have a, a girlfriend, right? You've been in a relationship with a girl, but you also see this other girl and she's like super beautiful and you wanna start talking to her and hanging out with her, but you still have a, a girlfriend, right? And you are like asking yourself, is this a good idea, right? and uh, obviously it's not but but my point is that let's say in this specific scenario you want to experience short-term fun and happiness by being with this other girl while being with the other one but if you apply my strategy which is uh, fast forwarding to the future let's say that you fast forward yourself to let's say you're 20 you fast forward yourself to 30 years old and you ask yourself hmm was that a good decision to be with this other girl while being with my girlfriend and being uh, N not being loyal and that's gonna give you your answer obviously it was not now what problems did that give you within the next years uh, obviously you did something really really horrible to your girlfriend um, obviously now everyone knows that you do those things to girls and if you're with another girl she's probably gonna know that you that there's chances you're gonna do that to her as well you start fast forwarding same thing let's say that you are gonna you see a way to make quick money but it's gonna harm someone and um, and you're like you have like a lot of temptation to do it so if you just fast forward yourself to the future and look back after the event already happened then you just and you try to really experience um what happened afterward you'll be able to determine if it was a good decision or a bad one so that's my little strategy I don't, I don't know if it makes a lot of sense. It's just, it might be a, a little bit crazy, but like every time, I just try to like experience future emotions in the present. So right now I'm trying to think about when I'm gonna be 40 years old, when I'm gonna experience, what I'm gonna feel, what emotions I'm gonna feel, what problems I might have done, look back and try to not do those bad things, right? And, um, and that's basically it. That's basically it. I do that for my business. I do that for relationships. I do that for fitness, also for fitness. Like for instance, if I'm right now, I'm let's say I look good right now. I'm in the in a good body. I like it, right? But I fast forward myself to when I'm 30. And when I'm 30, I'm thinking like, man, if I would have just done this and this and this, I would have been in a much better shape. I would have avoided. I would have avoided these health problems. And then what I do in the present is I just take action accordingly so that when I'm 40, I don't have to say that. I can say, man, I'm really glad I did that when I was younger. So that's my little strategy. It's fast forward into the future. And I hope that uh, it's helpful that you implement it and it saves a lot of big mistakes. 
Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you find it helpful, and we'll see you in the next one.